Here I am. Yes, it is I. I am a Pharisee. Now I am a Sadducee. You see? The nice hat, the robe. Again, a Pharisee. What? Now a Sadducee, right? No, yeah, okay, I think you get the idea. Uh, all right, I'm sure you've heard both Pharisees and Sadducees mentioned in the Bible. All right, Jesus dealing with both of these uh, groups of Judean society. And if you're like me, you've wondered, uh, which one is which? And will they face each other in the playoffs? And just, you know, what was the difference between these two religious groups during the time of Jesus? Well, you are in the right place to find out because we are talking about the Sadducees versus the Pharisees on this episode of Chuck Knows Church. Okay, uh, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, uh, two Judean groups that Jesus contended with primarily in and around Jerusalem and the temple. Now, to simplify a complicated comparison, uh, Pharisees uh, represented mainstream Judaism and they had a really great passing game. Remember before? Well, uh, uh, Sadducees exemplified the aristocratic, wealthy, traditional elite the upper social and economic echelon of Judean society with a great defensive line. <laughs> All right. Despite these differences, uh, both Pharisees and Sadducees were represented in the great Sanhedrin, uh, the Jewish high court, where among other things, civil and religious laws were interpreted. Uh, Sadducees held various political, social, and religious roles, including maintaining the temple. Now, their high social status was reinforced by their uh, priestly responsibilities as mandated in the Torah. Uh, Pharisees, on the other hand, <clears throat> Pharisees had the backing and goodwill of the common people, in contrast to the more uh, elite Sadducees. Uh, they were, in a sense, middle-class Jews whom many considered the spiritual fathers of modern uh, Judaism. They believed, for example, uh, in the resurrection of the dead, existence of an afterlife, and that God punished the wicked and rewarded the righteous in the world to come. While Sadducees, <clears throat> Sadducees rejected any notions of afterlife. Now on these points then, Jesus and the Pharisees would have been in agreement, which provoked the Sadducees even more. The New Testament, specifically the books of Mark and Matthew, describe how Sadducees challenged Jesus and his followers about their belief in divine resurrection. Jesus defends this belief and in turn, questioned the Sadducees' interpretation of biblical doctrine. This, of course, was seen as defiant and an insult to Sadducees. Uh, he was challenging their power and way of life. And ultimately, it became a part of why they wanted Jesus arrested. Ah. And the rest, as they say, is history. To learn more, ask your pastor. Tell S them Chuck sent you. Take that. I was right in the middle of saying it. Why would you interrupt me? I'm right in the middle of doing it. I'm allowed to say it too. You're oh, not the only Chuck. I'm a head. Chuck. I, can say I was too. the Chuck talking. I'm a, you're, you're not the only stop Chuck. Stop trying here. to get it. You all, know what? Fine. Oh, yeah. that's how we're. Fine. I don't care. I'm not even staying. Actually. I can. Oh, there. Yeah, we're going. I don't care.